Hi, in this video, we're going to show you how to remotely control your virtual machines in VMware Workstation using a VNC connection. So that way you don't have to use the console or use remote desktop. So you could do this using any uh, VNC client you want. So I installed a VNC viewer here, which is by a real VNC. So you could go online and search for that and download and use that for free. So what you need to do for each VM, I have a Windows 10 and Windows 11 or Windows 11 and Windows 10 VM here. So what you want to do for the VM, go to the VM menu, settings, and then you want to go to the options tab, VNC connections disabled by default, check the box to enable it, use a password if you want, you don't have to. I'm just going to put one in here just to show you that it works. Click on OK. And then what you want to do now is you're not connecting to the IP address of the virtual machine, you're connecting to the IP address of the host computer that's running VMware Workstation. So if you don't know your IP address, you can open a command prompt, type in IP config, find the right connection in the list. 192.168.1.141, that's my IP address. So I'm going to plug that into my VNC viewer. And connect and it's going to give you warning saying it's not encrypted click on continue and it wants the password I just made uh, for the VM settings and now you can see we're in the Windows 11 VM so we'll leave that open so now we're going to go to the Windows 10 VM go to settings options VNC connections so if we check this, we'll put a different password. Now see how we get this message VNC connection socket bind already in use. That's because you can't have two VNC connections at the same time using the same port number. So what we can do is go back to the settings, options, VNC connections. We could change this to let's say 5800. Let's put in our same password, just again, just in case, and click OK. And so now we could go back here, do a new connection. And we've got to put the port number this time since we're not using the default 5900. And we could call this, we could actually give it a name here. Click OK. And then we connect to this. Same thing about encryption. Our password. And now we have our Windows 10 VNC connection. So now we have them both open here. So now we're using VNC rather than the console or remote desktop. So once again, just, you know, go to, for each VM, go to the VM tab, settings, options, VNC connections, make sure it's enabled. And you could use the default port number if you're just using one. Password's optional, but if you're going to use another one at the same time, change the port number. And then find the IP address of your host computer using IP config or any other method you want to use. And then plug in the uh, IP address into your VNC uh, client there and change the port number if needed. And then you should be good to go using VNC for your connections. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.